<laughs> welcome, um, welcome. Uh, thank you. So this is this is our workshop. So this is our San Francisco office. This is Andy. Andy's actually one of our CVI agents. So Hang on, we gotta <laughs> we gotta improve the vibes. Tell me about Tavis. Tavis is teaching machines how to be human. Uh, so we're teaching machines the art of like human conversations because we really believe that humans are designed for face-to-face. -face. So if we can teach machines how to see, hear, respond, look like humans, we can unlock a pretty amazing future. I think we all grew up watching and reading the same sci-fi, whether it was like Rachel from Blade Runner or like Data from Star Trek. And what was really special about all of these you know, AIs was that they were human to some degree. They were empathetic. They understood us. Well, if you want that, then the interface in which we communicate with machines has to change. They have to learn to communicate the way we do face to face. So you have to teach them to be human. It's a lesson you guys have learned the hard way. How to hire. We have made a lot, a lot of hiring learnings, um, but I think just learning how to understand who is the right fit for a role. Yeah, honestly, and how to like really hire amazing people that are passionate and like craftsmen. I think the thing we're most proud of at Tavis is like, you know, you can imagine a different life this team would be like poets or artists or musicians and here they are working on ai with us i'm really into vintage computing and i like having a lot of these around the office if we want to build a future of like new human computer interaction these we have to look to the past and sort of an inspiration of like where we came from like how do we move from like command line interfaces to guis and they're also the timeout computers so if you misbehave you have to use one of these now <laughs> if you couldn't do what you're doing right now what would you be doing Oh my God, well, that, I, I that think is should true. be answered for each other. Yeah, yeah. So if you are not a race car driver, I think you would be a breakfast chef. A breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> if Quinn wasn't doing this, he would definitely be a chef. Would be serving five course meals at a Michelin star restaurant. Is there somebody that's you we should meet? Our newest engineer. First day today. Oh. <laughs> no, no, wait. <laughs> well, yeah. Why did you join? I'm Mikhail. For me, the biggest thing was, as Mert said, like the tech was amazing. And the kind of work Davis was doing was so far and above in terms of complexity and exciting, like I wanted to be here. Should I hire my code? <laughs> <laughs> I'm engineer and also I'm a lead of a lip sync team. Do you have a tree behind you? Yeah, it's, uh, I'm working like this. When I need to deploy, I do. <laughs> this is our weekend project. This is our roller coaster. There's cars that go up, so it runs all the way through and you can go through these loop-to-loops. But no the way. grand vision uh, was to actually do it across this whole back wall and have it run, but um, yeah, we haven't quite realized that. So cool. <laughs> <laughs> One of like the most important things for like a happy team is having a really great office that inspires, but has a ton of natural light and just like has good airflow, doesn't smell, you know, just like plants, pl plants, lots of plants. Who's the plant dad? <laughs> I think like divorced parents that hate their kids more.